This is Banjo. Today I'm going to demonstrate notching. Notching is where you place the enemy radar emitter, be it the enemy aircraft or active missile, at a higher elevation than your aircraft, and place it directly on your beam. What this will do is effectively have your aircraft filtered out as the ground clutter around you. I won't be going deep into the science behind the Doppler radar, as you can find this on the internet, curious, but I'll briefly explain how it functions. Where the ground clutter is filtered out as the radar can tell the relative velocity that is traveling past in relation to the aircraft that it's trying to lock up because there will be a variance as the aircraft is traveling either towards or away from the emitter as well as the ground clutter around it and this allows the radar to be able to filter out the aircraft and lock it up without locking up any ground clutter that's around the aircraft when the aircraft is traveling perpendicular to the emitter this changes so in this example, the enemy is an F-15 equipped with the AIM-120 AMRAM, and it's at a higher elevation than me. I've been beaming it off to my 10 o'clock to give me sooner reaction if it launches, as they would most likely get the first shot. At this point it launches, so I break off and put it to my 9 o'clock, and I'm at a lower elevation, so it's looking past me at the ground. As we're able to see, it's directly off to my 9 o'clock, and we can see it coming in, and there's no active lock. At this point, I've effectively notched the missile and it considered me ground clutter and allowed me to pass by it. At this point, I'm outside of its seeker focus. The enemy tries to lock me up for another shot, but, our, but I get mine off sooner. Break into another notch in case it did happen to fire. I've been going into these turns a bit too fast. This will make you over G and also widen your turn rate, so be sure to try and turn at corner airspeed at all time. But we see my missile flies true and splashes the enemy 15. We'll see this in TAC view next. In TAC view, at launch, we can see I have the aircraft at my 10 o'clock, so I quickly break, put it off to my 9 o'clock. I'm at a lower elevation, so we're all set up for the notch. At this point, the radar is looking past me at the terrain, and it's seeing it come up at a certain speed. As we notice, I'm traveling over these mountains at about the same speed relative to the missile, so it simply puts me into the notch to filter and cancels me out as ground clutter. And we can see the missile traveling harmlessly ballistic just off to my 10 o'clock. Finally, we're able to see it from the point of view of the AMRAM. It's launched, being supported by the F-15's radar, so I quickly notch the F-15 before moving on to notching the missile in case its active seeker comes online. We're able to see pretty much right about there where the missile loses its lock and essentially just becomes an unguided rocket. This concludes notching an enemy's radar or their radar-guided missiles.